Hello, today I'm going to show you how to fix the way stoner box is full or placed improperly in a Kyocera printer. This is a Kyocera printer and the particular model I'm working on is the is the M6530 CDM printer. I'm going to show you how to how to solve this this problem. So you can see this is where the waste um, tank is located and I'm going to open it and see what the problem is inside. So this is the waste toner. I'm going to remove it carefully. So this is the waste toner. So it complaining that the waste toner is full or placed improperly. So from what we can see here, the waste toner is not full. And this is the sensor for the waste toner. So when it's not pressed in properly, it will uh, indicate that the waste toner is not placed in properly. And this is because it wears off over time. And then this particular part of the waste toner box is not able to press in hard into that sensor so that it will be able to dictate that the waste toner is there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a super glue and then I'm going to... Um, apply a kind of um, a kind of pressure uh, pressure gap there so that once you push it in the pressure gap will um, help pushing the sensor so it will be able to dictate the waste toner so for that pressure gap i am going to be using the i'm going to be making use of a piece of paper i'll fold it and then i'm going to be using it as a uh, the buffer in between them so this is the piece of paper that i've been able to glue to it you can get get plastic for yourself if you want to or any other uh, soft tissue material or any piece of paper like this and then once you close it the door it will be able to sense that the that the uh, waste toner is detected so let's just fix it in and see what the problem I solve the problem. So this you just fold the piece of paper like this. So it's basically very, very easy. Fold it like this. And then with a super glue, you hold it together this way. Once you put it together, you can see hold it for some time. And then you place it at that particular spot. And then so it will add like a buffer. So that gap. So that gap that is uh there it will be this will act like a buffer for that gap. So once you push this in and close the waste toner door, it will sense that the waste toner is there. So I think the super glue is dried now. I am going to fix it in. So you can see I've placed it in carefully. Then I'm going to close the door. So let's check the printer. Right now you can see the door is closed properly. If you notice that your door is not closed properly, I will advise you to, to reduce the size of the paper you use so the door has to close. So I'm going to do a test print now. You can see it's not complaining anymore. The problem has been solved. So I'm going to print a test print. In case you haven't done already, like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. I have great videos on how to fix all kinds of office equipment on this particular channel. So do well to subscribe so i'm waiting for the test print to come out to show you that this problem has been solved it's actually a minor issue and it has to do with the uh, waste toner sensor so that is it folks i'll see you some other time